Hey guys, the scariest game that I played was Doom. That's a pretty scary game. Yeah, when I was uh, when I like it was one of the first scary ish games that I played. I was like, it's a first person shooter, and there's like things to that will like scary monsters that'll appear. You don't know what to do about them, you die. That is kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I had a game like that as a kid. By the way, audience, we're specifically uh, saying like. Was there a game as a kid that you played and scared you so you didn't get very far? Yeah, Doom. Although I was only playing on the school laptop, so... The scariest place to play The scary, yeah. Double scary. I You're remember, not supposed uh, to be playing games on the school laptops. Portal 1. And I was playing a scary game. Freaks me out yeah, like, for, for the older games, I don't have one ones that stop me from playing, but... It's stuff that like scared the shit out of me as a kid that I'm not as scared of anymore. Yeah. It's like one step down. Uh, I I remember the first time I played Halo on the original Xbox and I stopped halfway through the campaign and never touched it again until I ended up playing Halo 2 much later uh, when the flood were first scary? introduced. Yeah. Uh, when the flood are first introduced, it has like this segment where you find. It's like found footage of a group of marines being attacked by the flood and being turned to fucking infected zombies and shit. I was gonna say, isn't that what flood are the zombie things? Yeah. I don't like know, this I'm not really shit. Okay. This shit's fucking scary. Fuck this shit. But like Ape Escape has like a river section that has like a giant electric eel in it. I hated doing that section as a kid because it was just horrifying. That sounds very Clanker's Cavern esque, which did, uh, did it a lot for a lot of kids. Surprisingly, Clanker was like fine with me. The scariest but, uh, thing about Banjo Kazooie for me was just Gruntilda's lair because I got confused and lost all the time. I'm like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> but I've seen fucking animations of people like being so scared of Clanker that they peed themselves. I always loved Clanker. Mm. I thought his design's been fucking awesome ever since I saw him as a kid, honestly. Remember Clanker Mabini? He's the big shark, Robo Shark? Yeah. We went inside him in the uh, Banjo Catch Up series. Banjo Kazooie Catch Up out, out now on Same Industries and the second half out now on Eyes Yeah, it's now having its like 15 year anniversary. Yeah. Except the second half doesn't have Mabini for some reason. Yeah. And because of course, not, like the classic. Because it's not uh, called Banjo Catch Up anymore <laughs> either. You think there's anyone out there that'll. In the future, that'll watch Banjo catch up. And like, when are they going to finish this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When we're like, when we're famous and we've got like people like asking us questions you guys ever gonna finish banjo catch-up uh no comment yeah <laughs> just leave it yeah yeah. yeah sorry frank what were you saying uh and i was gonna like point out also like the classic mario 64 giant red eel you know scares uh, the shit out of mr. like 90 percent of people that play the game yeah mr red i thought eel. you were gonna say the piano i think that's a lot of people i mean yeah the piano like jump scared me as a kid but it wasn't as bad as this giant fucking red eel. <laughs> oh, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. When we did the AM That's video. That's not a game from your childhood. It's not from my childhood. It's just a but scary it did game. stop me from playing the That's game. That's just a horror game. We should play it on the channel. I can play the first game, I think. And maybe the... Frank got up to night two and then he died and then that was it. <laughs> Pretty... I remember we had a Reflex and he... <laughs> I'd never seen him so scared before. He was playing it cool, but he was like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play at all. <laughs> yeah. I could probably play the first game. Yeah. And Sister Location as well. Sister Location is like really... Because I saw... I used to watch like a lot of videos that there was like a trick to everything. Yeah. You had to watch Foxy. You had to check where everyone was. You had to do like you the flashing light You gotta watch Foxy, but not too much. It's been a while since that game came out though, I will say. It, it feels like it's yesterday. It's almost yeah. 10 years. In two years time, it's like it's is an eight, it really? eight year old game now. Yeah. 2014. That's fucked. I wish those games were still scary and good. Because I didn't even know that it was a huge deal um, when it came out and we did it. Really? Uh, it, uh, it was just like one that was suggested. Hmm. I think we had some people who suggested Five Nights at Freddy's. Was it like, me? Okay. No, it was like we actually had comments back then. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? <laughs> I need you to vent. What's that from? Uh, so the most recent, the most recent FNAF game 
Five Nights at Freddy's game, uh, Freddy talks to you, and your main character's name is Gregory. And for some reason, it was a meme for him to just go around and say, Have you heard of Among Us, Gregory? I need you to vent. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it wasn't an eel. It was a giant catfish for Ages <gasps> Gate. Fuck off! Like, I just oh, lost a... Oof. Oof. Stephanie, put the Mario 64 oomph sound effect in here as he passes it. through that. I made a mistake. No, no, not make a mistake. Ape escape. That's what Frank was talking about. <laughs> no, I'm also, to speaking of big fish, big fish in Mario 64 that eats you in one bite, that guy freaked me out. There's a few of Mario Yeah, it was also a little freaky. What's his name? Cheap Chomp? <laughs> Something like that. No, it's uh. He had sunglasses. It was cool. That yeah, is the definition. That's how you know. So you look up in the dictionary, you see that picture of the sunglasses, the pixelated sunglasses that come down. Underneath, cool. Deal with it. Uh, no, Stephanie, put the, put the picture of picture Liam made for Pokemon Coliseum, with our with the main character with his sunglasses down. Oh man. Yeah, I made that for the finale, I think. Yeah, you like did. a big momentous occasion. There were a couple of pictures that were made for that series. There was the thumbnail, mm. there was uh, Detective Yanma. Yes. And I then there was uh, the finale one. Damn. Yeah. Actually, weirdly, I think for a series that went on that long, I think it's weird that I didn't change the thumbnail like halfway through like I did for uh, Hollow Knight. Well, <laughs> we didn't actually have a major change to the series at all. That's true. It just kind of went on for like We didn't years. suddenly get better at Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We were already pretty good at Pokemon. We, we didn't uh, quite know how to play the game to finish it, and so you had to work that out. And you're like, Mabini, we have to grind. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why things suck right now. Still think our Pokemon names in that game were some of the most genius Pokemon names we've ever come up with. See if you can put them on screen right now. <laughs> One was just called Frank. Yes. Yes. Goes ESPN. Balls up. Balls up. That was the uh, typo, isn't it? Mr. Drevis. Mr. Drevis, that's right. Because yeah. we were angry that it was called Mr. Drevis, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Suicune? So, yeah, <laughs> our Raikou was called Suicune. <laughs> we even had an option of getting Suicune as well. Dude. And we're like, no, we've already got one. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we should play Pokemon. We keep saying we might do that. We have so many ideas for series, man. The problem is, is that like we, we insist on only doing the series that we've got. We want to finish them, but these games, I mean, Need for Speed Most Wanted takes a while. Five apparently. years to do. Yeah, barely. You know, I'm well, just sitting here in the corner waiting for my time to shine where the spotlight will be. That's him session. in the corner? That's him in the spotlight? Are you uh, losing your religion over there, Frank? Yes. No. No, but to circle back to, like... The giant catfish in Ape Escape. The metal spire spiders in Spyro 1 were also one of those things as a kid that scared the shit out of me every time I went to that segment to do it. I am not for, PlayStation for context for later. Sorry, no. Yeah, for context for later, I post the pictures in the chat. Okay, but actually, everything that we talk about, Stephanie can put a picture up of. You got the clank kit, you got the piano, oh, you got crap. the. Crap, how do I drag race? <laughs> I don't remember. Every time. For the Spyro remake, they took these spiders and then made them, like, not scary. They like, brightened them up or something like that? Like they did with the Majora's Mask remake that kind of ruined the atmosphere in a lot of places? I mean, they kind of just made them look like real, normal spiders. Eh, that's kind of like Which yeah. made them, like, a little less scary. When, like, when you have a really big spider, it's a little less well, scary. <laughs> one's right. Good job, man. Did you kill her? Yeah, she's Yo! dead. Shot her in Two the head. Two evil axes in one nice. recording session. You're right. In a shorter time, too. What a day. What I don't a, even think we got to do the, the Jules uh, story. What do you mean? Um, because Frank usually does a, tells ah, the story. Shit. Well, we can do the next one. Kaze is crazy. What she can't conquer with skill, she demolishes with speed. Don't let her sweet looks fool you. She'll trash anything she sees, including you. She's not afraid to ding her ride to put you out of commission. Just like me. Her glasses it's a match made in heaven. Yeah. Match, it's a match made in prison. Her glasses make me laugh really hard. Yeah. Very funny. She works in a factory, obviously. There's a safety glass. I was going to say. Because like, <laughs> you look at exhibit A, compare it to exhibit B, and it's like, this shit ain't scary anymore. No. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, well, that's like a complete redesign. Whoa. Yeah, it is very different. It's like a... Uh, when uh, Legend of Zelda recreates its old characters, its old enemies. Mm. 
Oh, you know, there's probably a few moments in Zelda that were pretty scary. There was the Sculptula house. There was the Dead Hand. Mm. There were, uh, Ocarina of Time, of course, I'm talking Re-deads. about. Redeads? Redeads? Oh, dude, fucking yeah. Dude. Yeah. My brother swears to this day that he once saw a Redead hump him to death so hard that his eyes popped out. I know that's not possible because I know way more about that game now than I did as a kid because I watched fucking speedrunners dissect them all the time. Yeah. But he's yeah. convinced. Oh, yeah, Rayman 2. I don't know if you guys have played Rayman 2, The Great Escape, but uh, the Cave of Dreams, where you get chased down that slide and you see it, the, the perspective down the slide, you are looking out of the monster's mouth that's chasing you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what his name was. That was like the whole thing. You had to know his name to even get there, which is kind of funny. Did that's you play good. Rayman 2? No. I think I played some of it. It's not in the memory banks of me finishing it, but I, I just don't know. Rayman 2 is a great <laughs> game. Rayman 3 is also good. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All the rest, eh. <laughs> yep. Rayman 1 is, is like, I don't know, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> and then the rest, like, who even gives a shit? They're all rabid games or whatever. The thing about older consoles, like the PlayStation 1 and N64, is that the, the creatures and shit are so low poly that you kind of, your imagination fills in a lot of the blanks. And that's the yeah. big thing about horror, is the biggest, or the scariest thing in all of horror is the fear of the unknown, right? Yeah. Your imagination will always come up with the scariest thing, right? And yes. if you see what it is, it'll never be as scary as your imagination. And a lot of horror that's... writers don't seem to understand that. Like, you can make a monster have as many teeth as you want, it's not going to be as scary as, like, obscuring it or not showing the full Isn't thing. Isn't that what it tried to do? It tried to do that sort of thing with, like, Fear of the Unknown by not having you see the bad guy so much. Uh, but then they kind of ruined it with Chapter 2 because you saw him all the time. No, no, not really. You no. see Pennywise a lot in Chapter 1. Okay. His true form you don't see very often, if at all in the in these in these more recent films, if that's what you mean. Mm-hmm. But no, you see, you see his clown form all over the dang place. He has a different form. The clown form is the main one. Yeah. No, he's he's a he's like a creature, like an alien creature, it's horrifying. He's like an eldritch horror. That's his thing. Okay. And he takes on the form of a clown because he takes on whatever your biggest fear is, and like the most common fear in the town or whatever oh, is like yeah. of a clown. We were talking about <clears throat> uh, Chuck E. Cheese uh, anime animatronics. Oh yeah. And that's another thing that I don't like. Anim- so, anim- 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 animatronics. Any animatronics, puppets, people in costumes, like HR Puff and stuff, <laughs> did not like them at all. Mr. Squiggle. Oh, come on. Mr. Squiggle ain't gonna hurt you with his pencil nose. Anyway, next time. <laughs> Bye.